Hey, it's the first day back from spring break. And it's one of those days where you just feel like you're forgetting something. I don't know what it is. I made a mental note in my head of everything I needed to bring with me today. But still can't shake that feeling that I'm forgetting something. I don't know. Either I'll figure it out later or I'll never figure it out. And it'll bug me till the day I die. Who knows? But it's Monday. It's March 27th, 2017. My goodness. We had a great weekend. I had a great week off. It was wonderful. It was relaxing. I didn't have to do anything that I didn't want to do. And it was great. Uh, capped off by the fact that we celebrated my daughter's first birthday. She is one year old. It's fantastic. Uh, she was a little fussy most of the weekend. It was kind of funny. Um, she's usually a very happy, very sweet. Um, but I think, you know, she's growing physically. She's growing mentally. Uh, it's just something, some things are changing in her. And so she's, she's been a little fussy, which, you know, it happens. But... We got to spend, my wife and I, the whole weekend with her. Uh, Mary Jane, my wife, took Friday off, which was uh, her actual first birthday. And we took her to an indoor pool, which she absolutely hated. Uh, She cried the whole time. She wouldn't let go of us. Um, I think mostly it was because it was just loud and chaotic. And uh, my baby girl's never really been... She's been outside the house, obviously, but she, my mother-in-law is her daycare provider, and so it's just usually the two of them all the time, each day, and so there's no real social interaction happening there. Now, she has been into the kids, uh, the nursery area at church on occasion, but my wife is always there with her, and so she just, she just hasn't had that opportunity to really just be on her own with other kids and especially a lot of other kids that paired with like the the water features and stuff at the pool making noise and it just we had I mean it was a nice experience it was great to be able to spend time with her just wish she would have had more fun with it but such is life we'll try again another time and then the next day on Saturday and so I mean I've skipped the entire week here pretty much but Saturday um We had her party. It was a family-based party with a few friends thrown in. Uh, She had the cutest little outfit on. Red florally dress with, like, wavy sleeves and these beautiful brown boots that just made her look so grown up. Uh, It was was just sweet. Um, Well, the big thing about Saturday is we ordered a cake, as you do with birthday parties. We ordered a big sheet cake. And... um, we ordered it weeks ago and made sure that it was going to be ready. And what we had asked for, we had given them a napkin, uh, one of the party napkins that we were going to use, and it has an elephant on it. The elephant's gray, and it had a pink ear with little polka dots on it, uh, and it was holding balloons in its trunk and stuff like that. This cute little elephant. And we said, hey, if you could put this on the cake, that would be great. And the guy assured us, he's like, yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, our decorator can definitely do that. We, I mean, it's elephant we can make it work so we go and pick up the cake hang on my windows are fogging up i need to get some air flowing through here so we go to pick up the cake on saturday morning at 10 o'clock the party's at two and uh there is a a black just a pitch black elephant on the cake with white and pink like dots of frosting on the ear that was it um I mean, it was horrendous. It was absolutely horrendous. And we kind of, we opened the box when we were there. We were just kind of like, um, and we didn't really know what to do because, I mean, we needed the cake and we wanted it to at least be decorated. And the rest of it, I mean, it was okay. We had asked them to write, happy first birthday, Eliana Grace. That's my daughter's name, Eliana Grace. And they had written that with like teal, uh, underlining or under... They'd written the words first in teal and then went over it with gray. Um, But the writing was kind of sloppy and the elephant was black, like black, black. Um, And it was just 
not quite right. Now, granted, we only paid $45 for the cake, um, but we paid $45 for the cake, you know? I mean, we could have bought the ingredients ourselves and made one just as good for that amount of money. Um, but I could tell my wife was kind of upset about it, and I was too. I mean, it wasn't what we had asked for. It was an elephant, yeah, but it was not by any means this cute little one-year-old's birthday elephant. Um, and the thing, it was like this filmy, I don't know if you've ever seen a cake that has like a picture of somebody on it, like a picture cake, but uh, it was almost like that filmy texture. It was as if they had just cut it out of this sheet of like edible paper and just placed it on the cake and put a few dots on it. It was, it was not good. So I was like, I was telling Mary Jane, I was like, I, I can fix it, I can fix it, I can fix it. She goes, no, people are just going to eat it, it's not a big deal. And uh, we get to the checkout lane, and I was like, I can fix it, I can still go get some stuff and we can fix it. And uh, she goes, no, 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 it's, not, it's okay, it's okay, it's just a cake, people are going to eat it. We get out to the car, and I'm putting it in the back of the car, putting the cake in the trunk. And she just has this deflated look on her face, it was just... Her eyes were just like sad puppy dog eyes, and her mouth was just kind of staring off. Or she was just kind of staring off, and her mouth was just kind of hanging there. And was, I could tell that she was upset about this cake, and it wasn't just a cake. It wasn't that it was going to be eaten. It was our daughter's first birthday cake. All our guests are going to see this. We we're going to take pictures of it. So I said, we had driven separately. So I said, you go home, or go go start decorating for the party. And I'll go get some stuff to fix it. So I went back in the store. I got a couple tubes of white icing, some pink. I went and found some little pearls, edible candy pearls, in her party colors. And uh, I was prepared to fix it. So I got back to the party location. We opened the box. I said, you're not allowed to watch me do this because it's going to make me nervous. But um, I fixed it. I covered the elephant. I, I traced what they had had. I made a few changes. Uh, made the tail a little bit longer, widened out the feet to make it look more like a cartoon and less like a printout, a decal, whatever you want to call it. Um, covered it all in white, outlined it in pink, made a big pink ear and put some of those little pearls on it. And it turned out pretty good. Um, it was by no means professional, but it looked a lot cuter and a lot better than what we had. And so for those of you wondering, I did uh, take pictures the cake before and the cake after I had fixed it and I had to spend like an additional like 20 bucks on stuff to fix it um, I wasn't going to go shop around for deals because we were on a time crunch and uh, so I wasn't happy about them I mean this $45 cake that should have been done right the first time ended up costing me $65 and uh, it just wasn't wasn't the most pleasant experience so I did take pictures and I sent a tweet to the uh, store uh, to their support their customer service uh, handle and I did get pleasant emails back and we I mean we shop at this store all the time uh, we get our groceries there we go and get extra little things there uh, we bought Ellie clothes there before so it's not like this was our one and only experience and we we have been back since it's not gonna make or break our willingness to shop there so um, I don't want them to feel as though I'm attacking them and I mean it's hard because I've never really said anything good like when I'm really impressed with something I've never taken the point to, to put that out there and say hey thanks for this um, but you don't often think of things like that we often think of the negative side and so that's what I did I took a picture and I said hey we're really unhappy with this cake um, it's our daughter's first birthday cake I had to spend extra money to fix it myself and I attached the picture just for them to see it so customer service reps did get in contact with me they sent me emails they said somebody from the local store will be in touch i don't know what's going to come of it maybe we'll get a credit toward another cake maybe we'll get a gift card or who knows maybe we'll get nothing um well the point is it's over we had a great party it was a fun story it's going to last a lifetime and uh the next day at church we had a potluck so we got rid of the rest of the cake it was great but the ending theme here in the last couple minutes i mean I've still got a little bit of drive left, but I'm not going to take too much more of your time. Um, is like I said, a lot of times when we as um, consumers have a positive experience, 
we may say something to the person right then and there, but we don't really make it public. We don't let our friends know. We don't let people know that we enjoyed that experience. And uh, But we're never too quick to say when we've had a negative experience. And I think that's important. So one of my goals for the next several months and trying to make a habit of it is when I have a pleasant experience, whether it's with a hotel or a restaurant or a grocery store or anything, is I'm going to try to make a point of posting positive reviews, whether it's on Yelp, where the company can actually see it, or my Facebook page, or my Twitter, whatever. I want to try to post more positive things so that when I do say the negative things, it's not like I'm always harping on these petty issues. And I try not to do that anyway. I try to, I mean, when I want to say something that I need rectified, it's because I want to rectify it. It's not just because I'm trying to complain. But that's the point. I hope you can take that challenge as well, all zero people that have watched this video so far. Um, but like I said, it's my first morning back at school after spring break. We had a great week off. I'm hoping that we can finish out this school year positively, uh, making some, some good gains in these kids' lives, academically, emotionally, uh, socially, all these things. So that's the plan. I hope anybody that happens to watch this has a great day, great week, great year, whatever it is, whenever you're watching this. And uh, I'll see you this afternoon.